<clears throat> Sorry, Mr. Uh, Lekiger, is it? The strange man over there in the corner asked why you're sitting at the wrong table. Oh, uh, sorry. Thanks. You know, you look incredibly sheep with that outfit on. Well, if I don't want my son to recognize me, I have to wear this. Speaking of, is it on? Did you win? Yes and no. Do you remember... What you told me, way back when, when those three started that Nuzlocke. What part? I told you many things. The part where you said, they've changed. Well, yes, they, they were still quite evil. Especially since they, you know, were using my son, but... They weren't as bad as from what I've heard you did. In fact, while I was here, I, um, I looked through the documentation of your Nuzlocke. They certainly weren't as bad as that when I went on my journey. Do you know why I came here to the Alola region? Do you know the real reason why? Well, I would assume it's to relax, after all. You were training on Mount Silver for a while, and you were a former Kanto champion. It's because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Here I was, thinking... Thinking that I could become champion and simply relax. But the calls of a champion are very great. Look, Hugo, I know this. I, too, was a champion once. Honestly, how Lance is able to deal with that, that's a mystery. Well, after that, I figured, hey, maybe I can't be champion, but maybe I can be the very best, you know, like, like no one ever was. It's not about catching the Pokemon, it's just being the strongest trainer. You don't need numbers for that, as our journey show. So, that's why I went to Mount Silver. To train, to get stronger. I thought it was going to be easy, but... Then you arrived. Lakiga, it was around 20 years ago! You can't seriously be holding a grudge on me even now! No, no, I don't, I... Far beyond that, trust me. I'm not that cello. But after that defeat, I... I had to think. I've shown that I couldn't be the champion anymore. And the responsibilities were way too great for me. And I couldn't be the strongest trainer. More would show up and just take me over. So, with the winnings I got from the championship, I... I came here to spend the rest of my life in misery. That's when, that's when those three came back. And that's when you told me to try and stop your son. Lakiga, you have been stalling long enough. Tell me, did you stop Lorente? Well, I wasn't able to stop him becoming champion. He, there wasn't enough time. I met Nutsack here as well, and he agreed to train me a little bit, help get my Pokemon up to speed. I, <laughs> you can probably call it a little bit sad, but I, I chose an entire Gen 1 lineup. Ah, oh, really? What can I say? I'm bound by nostalgia. While we were training at this place called the Battle Tower, we were approached by the owner. He knew who we were. We were former champions of Kanto, and he asked if we would want to become leaders of the Battle Tower. Nutsack agreed. He was tired of becoming a gym leader. He was tired of being a champion, so the idea of just basically making sure this place doesn't fall apart and seeing people fight without really directly getting involved unless he wants to, that sounded good to him. 
I, on the other hand, well, I wasn't sure. So he asks us to take a walk, to talk it over, see what we're gonna do, and... As luck would add it, I ran into your son. But here's the thing. I didn't challenge him. He challenged me. Look, Higa, I challenged you all those years ago. It's no different. <laughs> like father, like son then, huh? Remember when I said that he seemed along for the ride, that he didn't care, and you said that he's just being brainwashed or something like that? No. When we fought, I saw a glint in his eye. The same glint that we had. The same glint that comes with all trainers who have found their calling in life. The battle was fierce. We were losing Pokemon left and right. Sometimes I was in the lead, other times he was. I even wiped out their golden card, their trump card, their one hope of winning. A polygraph by the name of Whirly. So, if that's the case, you did it, right? You won? Victory was in my grasp. There was no way that his Pokemon could survive. The only other Pokemon that he had left was a grass type, and I still had Striker. I could have ended it there and then. But then they had to be a bunch of assholes and they had to use those super soakers that you use against me to just keep pumping healing into their stupid bird Pokemon. So I ran out of power points and they were able to finish Striker off. Seriously, if they're listening, that was cheap. The Kiga, they don't return to us. I highly doubt they're listening. The point is, is that I lost. Lorente beat me. With, well, I believe, his two starting Pokemon. I don't know, I haven't been keeping tabs on his stream. I've only been watching glimpses. But do you know what they said when they beat me? They didn't say things like, Ox is gonna fuck your mom. They didn't say anything mean. They said... Look at Lakiga looking down at his peers. It was technically an insult to my friends, but they were complimenting me. They didn't see me as scum. They saw me as a worthy opponent, a great battle fought. And I looked at Lorente. He was overjoyed. He had beaten the legend that is Lakiga. It was then that I knew. I knew what my purpose is. So, so Lorenzi, he's going to be all right. You're sure of it? You know, I was the last obstacle in your journey. Sure, you had a couple of Pokemon that you had to fight afterwards, but for all intents and purposes, I was the end of your story. And it appears that with my defeat, that is the end of the story for Lorenti as well. Pokemon champion and defeater of a legend. Oh. Oh, I'm so relieved. Uh, so, you're sure he's okay? He's not turned into a, a mindless monster? Well, he did ask me to give you a message. Get rid of that ridiculous outfit, Dad. You look like an idiot. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's my son. Yeah, he, uh... <laughs> he gets a lot from you, Tantor. It's been fun, but I gotta go. I've, uh... 
got a lot of work to do. Oh, have you found a special someone or something? <laughs> nah, nah. I don't think that'll ever happen to me, but hey, I guess my girlfriend can be the battle tower. Look, Hugo. My purpose, Tantor, is to see that the next generation have that glint in their eye, have that love. And hell, if those three come back, I will welcome them, and I will be ready for them next time. Anyway, I gotta get to work. I don't trust Nutsack in control of that entirely. Oh, also, if you ever visit your son again, be sure to take Mr. Steak with you. I'm sure Tapu Mr. Steak would like to meet him. Smell you later, Tantor! Hey guys, it's Ticken. Welcome to the Pentology, I think it's called, of this Lakiga and Tantor thing. I wasn't expecting this to be this long, but you guys enjoyed it, so I decided to keep going on it. With the Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke over, it's highly doubtful that this will ever return. But I want to thank every single one of you who followed the story through to the end, and apologies for Team Four Star who... I might have messed with the cannon, but hey, people's head cannon, maybe. So, once again, thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you have a good day.